Builders may be getting more confident about the economy, but how about everyday Long Islanders? Antoinette Biordi has the results of an exclusive News 12 Hofstra poll you'll see only on 12. Just a hang on. That's it. Young Kang says it's tough to survive in this economy as he serves up lunch. The deli owner tells us with the price of gas going up, his customers have to make some hard economic decisions. They used to buy uh, breakfast and lunch. Now he's uh, either one breakfast or uh, you know, brunch. Kang, like many others on Long Island, are hoping things will turn around. A News 12 Hofstra poll asked folks this question. Do you expect at this time next year you will be financially better off or worse off than now? 32% say better off. 26% say worse off. But 39% say the same. Probably around the same. Certainly not better, not the way the economy is. Retiree Yvonne Logan of Huntington is worried about the shaky economy and the outcome of the presidential election. And then there's the unstable situation in the Middle East. So the question is, how does all that uncertainty make Long Islanders feel about their current financial situations? Certified financial planner Jan Ten Hagen says uncertainty is sapping the confidence of Long Islanders and nothing out of Washington is giving people encouragement. How can I be confident about going out buying a new car, buying a house, any of those kind of things, uh, if I don't have confidence that the people I've elected to, to, to run the country for us? Ten Hagen also notes that people haven't been getting raises, increasing stress as Long Islanders ponder their future. Antoinette Biordi, News 12, Long Island. And the poll also found that more people under 30 say they'll be financially better off next year compared to those over 30.